Hello and welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve problem set 5 back to the bank. So in this problem we will be developing a program that will run tests on this code here. But first uh, we will restruct this code per these two functions. So let's copy everything here this function just for now and let's call the function value here and it needs a parameter so let's move this line of code here and pass in greeting which is the input that the user will provide so before moving on let's just if uh, this code is still working so um, python so let's test hello okay that's working let's test i this should output 20 draws okay <coughs> and let's also check for anything else so let's just write anything so hundred dollars so every case is working so now let's move on uh, yeah in this code in this file here to uh, make our tests so we will actually uh, make three functions but first let's just define two functions the main and test value one let's just copy this two more times and at the end we want to call the main function so if name you will call the main function which will also call every function here so let's copy this three times two no that's one two and three and that's also two and three so let's start with uh, the first function and let's write here some test cases that will test our first condition here which is if hello uh, is the first uh, thing in the string and it should output zero dollars so uh, let's start with just hello so yeah before we continue we need to import uh, the function uh, value from this uh, file which is bank so from bank let's import value okay we should be ready now okay so assert and let's call the function value and pass in hello so this should be equal to, to zero dollars so zero and uh, okay let's finish one function first then move on to the second two functions so let's also test if the input is uppercase okay and um, let's also check for spaces maybe so if there's some spaces here and here it should also output zero dollars so let's uh, use pytest to see if these three test cases uh, are working okay yeah i think because here we need to just type pass because we are we are calling these two functions so these two functions has no code so we are getting an error so let's try again it's also 
there's also a problem let me just see why okay so actually the error was here so let's just clear the screen and run again and it's also not working okay but this time we have uh, one test case is failing so this function is not passing the test so we are getting uh, that this gives us none so I think where the problem is it's actually in this file so yeah I forgot to remove this print functions and replace it with a return and use the print function here so yeah let's return hopefully this is the the last error we have today so let's run pytest again and let's hope this time uh, works fine so let's run pytest and finally it's working so uh, I think uh, there is enough test cases here so let's move on to the second function and okay this one just to be clear we'll test for uh, okay zero dollars and this one twenty dollars and final one is hundred dollars so here let's test if high will give us twenty dollars and let's also test any string which uh, starts with H so anything like not like that but anything just to test if if the first thing is H uh, $20 will be printed and let's also check for uppercase so if uppercase is also working so let's Let's, let's leave the spaces and also make this uppercase and change hello because this will output zero dollars so let's remove an L for example so I think we covered uh, enough test cases here so let's run pytest again okay thank god it's working let's move on the third and the final function which will return hundred dollars each and let's che let's check if we the user inputs some um, uh, cs50 for example or anything other than hello or a string starting with h let's remove this and type a number for example 50 and also here let's write how are you for example why not Okay, let's run pytest again. Okay, we have an error here. So the assertion to any oh this starts with H. Okay, my bad. So let's write what's up. <laughs> Remove this one. Okay, now it's working. Okay, good. Okay, let's run check fifty and see if we covered every test case so after running some tests uh, I think uh, the problem here the problem you are uh, not passing the check 50 test cases is because uh, uh, check 50 somehow is uh, testing on the return value as an integer so at first uh, we were checking a string and a dollar sign before the number so I modified uh, this these test cases and uh, also modified the main file here so instead of returning uh, the string modified or uh, formatted as a dollar and a number I just returned the, the value which is 0 or 20 or 100 and uh, we can actually okay we, we can actually format 
uh, our string here just to make our uh, program uh, working just fine. Okay, let's let's store the return value in a string. Let's call it value for example, and then print a dollar sign, then the value. So this uh, will work just uh, fine. Uh, we just uh, modified this file so the uh, the string is modified after uh, we return the values from this function. So returning back to our test function, uh, let's now try to uh, use check fifty and see if uh, we are going to pass uh, the test cases. And also for some reason, uh, adding adding spaces. Uh, will also fail so let's remove i remove the spaces from here and there were spaces here too so i moved them okay so let's try again use check 50 and see so yeah as you can see now we passed uh, the test cases from check 50 and as i said i think uh, the issue was uh, here like the return value return value of this function probably it should be integer somehow so we modified these uh, two files so yeah and uh, yeah we added this line of code just to make our uh, program working as before so yeah that's the end of today's video thank you for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos